Hey everybody, Ava here today. I'm at So You Think You Can Dance Top 8 with an all-star. Hello, Hi. introduce yourself. My name is Paul Kermirin. And this is On The Spot Interview. So great to meet you, Paul. How are you today? I'm great. I'm feeling amazing. It was a great show. I think there were so many amazing numbers oh, back yeah. to back. Yes. And um, yeah, I'm. it was a great show. <laughs> and you got to work with Megs, who yeah. is amazing. Tell us about that uh, that style. Um, I think she's she's a master at her, her style. And I think that she just has a presence on stage that none of the other contestants have. Uh, it's very unique. and. Um, it was a pleasure working with her uh, for the Paso Doble, and I think that at first, definitely, there were difficulties because she's so out of her comfort zone, but she really proved herself t for me to be uh, so, uh, her, her work ethic was amazing. She, she really proved to me what a fierce competitor she is in the competition. And I'm so happy that she got, she's getting a chance to be in the top six and, and show what she really can do. Um, I think this was great for her because um, America got to see a different side of her because they've seen her kill it, contemporary, kill it at hip hop um, and the different styles, but they really haven't seen this uh, intense, fierce um, ballroom side of her. And, and it is a difficult, it's difficult because it's, it involves technique, it involves, it involves body shapes and lines that are, you're not used to. So for her, it's it was uh, it was a great great uh, dance. I feel like this week. Um, unfortunately, there were some b uh, sad comments from the judges, but I'm happy that sh her solo and um, her other duet, uh, her other group dance with her hip hip, yeah. hip hop group, the street group, um, really gave her an opportunity to to shine and show America what she can do. So. It was definitely a bump and a challenge that she had to jump, a hurdle that she had to jump over, but she did great. Yeah, and I'm so, 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 so proud of her, and I love her, and she's amazing. Yeah, I love her. She's just an all-around amazing person, she so really sweet. Is. So really it's great that you were able to work with her. Yes, I'm very, I'm very, uh, whenever I saw that I had her, I'm like, she's perfect for the <laughs> boss, so yeah. she just has that intensity, you know? Yeah, she does. She's very fierce, and what's the word, swag? Swag. swag. She does have swag. She has lots of swag. Lots of swag. <laughs> So can we expect you back this season or can you not say? I can't say, but um, I mean, there's only top six week top yeah. f and then finale. So um, hopefully we'll see, okay. we'll see. Okay, hopefully yeah. that we'll see turns into yes, but I will wait and see. Of course, of course, <laughs> I'm not allowed to say anything. Yeah, so. I know, I don't want to get you sued, trust me. That's the last thing I, I don't want to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to get sued. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, any other projects for you in the dance world coming up? Um, in the dance world, I, I have, I w last season I was on Dancing with the Stars, so they brought me in to do uh, Troop, which was a great experience. Um, and hopefully this season, it's starting up in a few weeks, hopefully I'll be on the show again. And uh, you'll see me on that, that side of television, <laughs> the dance, Dancing with the Stars side. How do the shows compare like in terms of like rehearsal wise, uh, just performance wise? Like, are there any similarities? Um, I would say that it's kind of like All Star Week every single week, That's true. because you're you're with a pro, uh, the celebrities are with a pro and they're dancing. And Troop, of course, is completely different because Troop, uh, they're all professional dancers. Yeah. So Troop rehearsals really go smoothly because everyone knows what they're doing. We get there, we finish the routine, and we choreograph it, and then we just we have uh, we go on to the next thing. But with a celebrity, you really have to. Uh, break everything down and just there's a different process involved and um, it's it's great to see their growth just like it is on this uh, on this show um, of course celebrities add a different element to it uh, because they've never danced before so it is a challenge but I feel like it's it's a great platform yeah. it's a great platform and I, I think um, um, it's it's great for dancers and professional ballroom dancers to be able to shine because I feel like a lot of shows they give hip hop and contemporary and those yeah, styles they have a lot. The spotlight. Yeah, exactly. But that show really highlights form, which is great. Yeah, great, p great capacity, great platform, like you mentioned. Exactly. So happy that you get to be a part of two amazing but different shows. Yes, of course. Me too. I'm happy too. <laughs> so uh, can we just have all your social media links Twitter, Facebook, yeah. YouTube, everything? Um, so everything is practically at. Paul Kermirian, my name, my full name, because I'm, I'm just, I've been changing, um, oh, okay. yeah, so everything is at, uh, at Paul Kermirian, my last name is K-A-R-M-I-R-Y-A-N, uh, and my Twitter handle is at Dance10Paul. 
Okay, and easy Snapchat enough. Snapchat is at Paul Kermirian also. Okay, cool. Yes, I love how all of you guys are like giving your Snapchat out to fans so we can all keep up with you. It's yeah, so cool. I'm always updating. I'm like backstage stuff and all the time. So, so um, yeah, if someone's following me, that would be uh, a great thing to see in terms of backstage and everything. And it's fast too. Exactly. I like Snapchat. Yeah, me too. Well, thank you so much, Paul, and I hope to see you again um, at another event, and it was great to meet you. It was you. great meeting you too. Thank you.